what's up YouTube? It's Vom here. Today we're going to be talking about the CT side and the T side of cash. Before we get into it though guys, I just want to say thank you. The amount of support I received on that first video was incredible. You guys were super positive and I really do appreciate it and I'm excited to make more of these. So to start off, we're going to be looking over the CT side first of cash. Uh, we're going to be looking at an aggro B pick and hold, an early squeaky pick, and a counter boost pick that you can go for from highway. All right, guys, so first thing up, we're gonna be doing the aggro B pick. So at the beginning of the round, when you notice that you have a front spawn, communicate with your team that you'd like to opt B. Typically, you either wanna have a teammate with you in the B bomb site at the start of the round, or they have you play mid and one of the players comes in through vents. So at the start of the round, you're gonna run through here, you're gonna come up into heaven, come down and you drop and you post on this angle here. If you have one of the front spawns, the terrorist will not beat you to this angle. Flashing this angle is extremely hard because if you see it, you can easily dodge or at the same time, if you do end up getting blind, it's still hard to kill you because of how quickly you can fall back into checkers. Just like this angle is extremely hard to deal with, the enemy opponent will probably know how to deal with this if you're a higher level. So what may happen is you may get smoked in front of B main and they may also molly checkers. So if you see the smoke, you can sometimes push past the molotov and come into B and you can kill the enemy as he pushes forward. This is a very risky play and it may lead to your death, but that is something that I am extremely comfortable with doing that fits my play style. So while I'm holding this angle and they smoke off B main, another thing you can do is you can play behind the molotov and you can try to pick them as they come up and then back off. These are just a couple of things that you can do. If the Molotov is deep enough, I advise you to either fall all the way back and use it as a one way or come all the way back to checkers and hold this angle when they come in. This is a really strong position to hold from because what we talked about at the start where your teammate is either going to play in the B bomb site or go into vents. This is a perfect position to be in even if you got smoked and mollied at the start of the round. If they come and they try to rush you through checkers, your teammate could be in vent. Or if your teammate is playing in sight, your teammate can then flash for you into checkers as they enter and you can kill them while they're blind. So first things first for the squeaky pick, the spawn doesn't matter too much. I would advise you not to have the worst spawn, but at the end of the day, this is very much something where if you have a read on the enemy team or you think the player is getting into kind of a rhythm and it's just maybe getting a little lazy. This is a great way to punish somebody that is obviously just kind of going through the motions and isn't, you know, ready for this peak. You're going to come out, no special route, nothing crazy you got to do. You just come through in a bomb site. And I like to sit here next to door and most players will flash into squeaky. That is my cue when I will peek into door. The pros of this pick is if you don't fully commit to it, it's extremely powerful and hard to deal with. As long as you don't fully wide peek to the angle and when you first come out, as long as you hold a pretty tight angle, even if you end up missing the shot, you can usually get out in time as long as your A main is smoked. You know, this can be a very dangerous situation that you're in because now you're stuck in front of door and they have you squeezed from A main. I would advise you to try to take your fight with A main and try to pick that person and be extremely aggressive if you don't have any smoke. Another way you can pick door is by bringing a teammate with you. You're gonna open this door early and you're gonna come in here and you're gonna try to get in a really wide position for him. When you go for this wide peak and you go for this early play, you're gonna wanna have one of the front spawns uh, out of CT spawn. Otherwise, what may happen is you get into door too late and you eat a flash and you get caught off and it makes it also extremely hard for your teammate to trade as he's also stuck in the door. But the advantage of this pick over just going for a standard little close angle door pick is you can now establish squeaky door control and very similar to the B Mirage pick where if you don't see anybody, this is still extremely valuable info in that you can push this and get more and more map control. And if your teammate is with you behind you, there's a very likely chance that you'll at least trade one for one, even if the situation goes very poorly. So the last peak we're going to be talking about today on CT side is the highway counter boost pick. This angle and this pick is great for dealing with terrorists that love getting boosted every single round. And it's a very safe pick if you have one teammate with you just watching your mid main. I would recommend having a couple of nades with you. I feel like it's a must to have a smoke. 
I feel like it's a must to have a Molotov. The reason for this is you need to have mid main smoked and having the Molotov for boost allows you extra time to set up for this pick. The spawn is not in itself too crucial, but just like going out mid on any round, having a better spawn is always better just so that way you can't get picked on the ground. If you do end up going out middle and you do not have one of the best spawns, communicate with one of your teammates to smoke the mid garage. So when you're going for this counter boost pick and you have a good spawn, you're just gonna smoke mid and then you're gonna come over and you're going to molly boost. So an easy way to molly boost is you come to the middle of the sandbags and you aim at the corner of the hut. A faster molly that you can throw for the boost is you come to this rail here and then you aim to the top of this tower and then you strafe left and throw. So now that we've talked about this pick, I'm going to show it to you guys all in one motion as it does require a little bit of nade usage. You're going to come mid, you're going to smoke mid garage, you're going to molly boost, you're going to strafe your way to the highway, maybe post on here for a second in case they want to scrim, then you come out here and you post on the boost and wait for him to run out. All right, guys, so now that we've gone over CT side, I'm going to talk to you guys about the T side of cash. I'm going to show you guys an aggro B pick. I'm going to show you guys how to peek mid on the ground fast. And I'm going to show you guys how to deal with uh, any opper at A. Some just little things that you can do. Not really aggression, but great ways to open up the round in the middle of the round for your team. So with this aggro B pick, you take your front spawn towards B. And you want to make sure you're just really getting to this angle as quick as possible and you're gonna cut on the inside part of this angle and you're gonna come in here and you're gonna peek checkers. I go for this style of pick if I know the other opera is jumping out of heaven a lot and is not holding the crack peak at B main. The other time I do this is if I know they're not opping. Besides an opper, there is one other risky part to this angle which is a heaven player. A lot of times players will smoke down into B main and they will be holding from heaven for like the first few seconds to see if anybody aggresses through their smoke. The good news is most of the time they're still not ready for you to be here because they probably are still pulling out their gun after throwing the smoke. This is a very very safe pick so with this front spawn guys you will almost always beat the smoke mid so there's no unique route that you need to tank you just come in through here you come in through mid main and all you're gonna do is you're gonna Jump around this corner, pull out your op, and try to pick the guy crossing highway. So things you need to be worried about. You need to be worried about another opper. This is the most likely way that you will die. And what is the biggest cue that there's another opera in middle is if they do not smoke mid main. So if you come and you are about to peak mid main and you don't see anybody crossing and you get to this point right about here and you have not been peaked yet this needs to be a red flag in your head you need to keep in mind that there's very likely now that when you come around this corner that there will be an op inside z you will lose this battle nine times out of ten if the other opera is ready for you another thing you need to be concerned about on this angle is if it's not smoked and you're holding in middle and say you don't peak the opera you still do not want to be here the reason for that being is if a player went to truck through A into highway, you are now going to be open and your scope is cut off from the highway boost pick. Last but not least guys, I'm going to talk to you guys about picking A main. So there's not too much aggression that you're going to have. Most of the time it will be smoked. If you do face aggression, you'll be in a defensive position in the back of A main early into the round because the other opera or the other team is pushing into you. At the beginning of the round, when you're going towards A main, the first thing I want to do is post up for another team's push. The way I like to do this is you have you just hold here on this angle and you just wait for another opera to try to push into you with maybe a flash or maybe the other team is aggressing with rifles or the pot flash and you're just holding here. I don't want to hold it too wide just in case another opera comes in. The other reason you don't want to hold it too wide is if they don't have a great pot flash that is perfectly set up, you will more than likely not get blind from whatever flash they're throwing in the main. So hold a pretty tight angle. Once you've established that they're not pushing into A main and say that their smoke is now faded, there's a couple things that you can do. The first one is dealing with the opera that is holding the fence angle. This simple flash can usually net you a kill because usually the opper doesn't even suspect that another op is trying to pick into him because it's just a very simple flash. 
So you just bounce it off the wall. You peek into it. The opera backs off and you just he might try to re-peek and you'll get a free kill out of it. Another thing that you can do that is great for a pick at A main is a very similar flash. So what you want to do to flash the quad opera is come to this fence here, crouch, aim at the top of this corner, come up, and peek. One last and little final thing that you can do is while A main is smoked, after A main is smoked and you've come into this corner, which I call Ola, you can approach and peek quad from an unorthodox angle that they're not going to be ready for. This angle is extremely strong and really hard to deal with based off of where the other opera is posted and where he's scoped in at. Alright guys, that concludes the second episode of Scoped Up. Appreciate it. If you enjoyed the content, to like it, maybe share it with a friend. You guys are wonderful. I will see you guys in the next episode of Scoped Up or in my stream. Take it easy, beautifuls. Peace.